Well, hello, folks. Welcome to episode two of season nine here at Riga FC. I'm the Custard Prophet. This is the, La the Latvian job. And season nine has started very much as you would expect. We have won the first 10 games and we're going to be playing Spartax today. Uh, but more importantly, we've got a couple of transfers to look at. Right then, folks, let's get into those transfers. Probably be a quite a short episode today. But we will highlight them. Uh, so one transfer in and then a couple out that haven't quite happened yet. So left back, Tormin is going to be leaving. I'll show you that in a second. He uh, wanted to leave. We have the option to uh, get rid of him. Uh, so I looked around, found somebody, bought them in and uh, sorted out the transfer with him. And it turned out he's not going to leave until the summer. So this, uh, So he's not in the the club really at the minute is in the b team but we we decided to bring in a left back and it was this lad from sundowns marco messina who i think is a decent uh very very decent backup very fast decent technicals for a fullback um reasonable mentals as well doing exactly what we need and he's only 20 so another quality player from uh, from africa uh this time from south africa yeah, as you can see, uh, Torment will be going to VAFC. That is, yes, French side uh, in Ligue 2. And uh, Dimitri Shitashkov, uh, the the guy we signed uh, for free, who's 34, we got rid of him for like, well, cheap money for um, to uh, Gornick. The other person who is wanting to leave is Bielefeld. <coughs> He came to us saying he doesn't feel he's up to it anymore. So, you know, we, we, you know, I, I, I kind of agree. He's certainly kind of, in terms of his ability, he's a two-star ability now. So we've got, we, we, we seem to have relatively quickly passed him by. But he's done some great stuff whilst he's been here. Let's have a look how the uh, how we've done early do early doors. Uh, as I say, we've won first ten matches. Uh, we're something like 55 matches won on the trot now in the in the league, which is mad. Started off with a win away at RFS. Bru, Misa, Oldrikis with a couple and Popovic. Then home against Miltene. This was closer than it needed to be. Ergolis and Oldrikis with early goals. They scored in the first half as well, but we weren't able to do much here. This one was the one that could have gone very badly. We were 2-0 up. Krullis and Oldrikis with the goals uh, and then Spartax got a goal back and then in the 90 like fourth minute ball went in and they headed it in at the far post but it was chalked off for uh, offside pretty pleased with that I mean they had two shots in the whole game and we had lots more than that but I was pleased to uh, not <laughs> draw the game because that would have been annoying uh, then we beat Auda, 3 uh, no, 5 0. Krollis, Lisinovs, Misu, and Ergus with a couple. An absolute goal fest against Ventspils. 6 3 win. Bielefeld, Brew, Popovich with four. Showing his ability a little bit there. He's got a way to go. This that started off a run of away games. And play Lepaya, 3 1. Krollis with a couple and Popovich. Sending off for Vieira though. Then Noah away. Misu with two. Comfortable victory away against Valmiria. We just played that one. Chiadio and Brew with the goals. Uh, and then we've just had a couple of home games. Meta at home, Erglist, Jamal, Brew, and Lizanovs. And local team RFS, pretty full stadium. Stankus, Chiadio, Krollis, Miso, and Daff. 5 0 victory. Very, very good. We're playing Spartax now. Let's get into it. Okay, so team we are going with maybe a little bit of a surprise up top. Krollis, Lisinovs, and Misu. Now, the reason we're playing Lisinovs is because of this. Aldrikis has got himself injured, and it is a broken leg. Four to six months out. Absolutely gutting. It has just happened. And, uh, yeah, not great for a 31-year-old. We've also had a load of injuries all the way through the team, as you can see. Uh, Kutsia is currently out, but we had pretty much the entire back line out. Um, so, uh, Yaozem's just coming back, and he's going to get a game today. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. And hopefully, Lucinovs, the other Latvian, can um, 
do what he needs to do up there he's not brilliant he's got a good jumping reach so that's what we're we're hoping to, to uh, rely on but in Europe that might be a bit of a problem let's let's get into it oh let's go through the I haven't gone through the team I like Krollis and Lisa and also Misu up top I did go through that Chiari Vieira and Brew midfielder uh, and across the back line Messina Mendia Stankos and Yauzams with Kuz uh, Kugiev in goal happy with this not so happy with all the injuries but we managed to get through that I'm pretty sure it's, it's another um, Baltic Cup this season so that's going to be a bit of an issue probably around next episode we will be kind of living the dream there this is going to be a tough one they gave us a decent enough game in the first uh, in the home match hopefully we've got enough about ourselves to play well here but no Aldrichis is going to be an issue I think well funnily enough it is not necessarily gone the way you would expect it they they've had the majority of chances and here we go opportunity knocks here they've uh, managed to pick up the ball that's very good we look a little bit sluggish are we going to see the end of the the uh, 50 odd game unbeaten that's gone over the top well 50 odd game 100 percent record it really could be today it's not we're not looking great but we've got such a good set of players that maybe there's a chance at least in obviously this is Aldrichus is replacement he's not a bad player but he is not at the same level as Aldrichus at all and we don't really have someone similar to him Yao Zemzo again maybe a chance for them but Kugiev has done well and he's having to this is this is by far the closest game of football we have played in the league in a long long time Lusinovs he's done well and they have brought him down Prudsev that is an absolute stonewall penalty who is taking it this is going to be important it's Brew and he just slots it in the back of the net good goal there Habib Brew fifth of the season a few of them from the penalty spot not the only penalty taker Krollis has taken a few as well so uh, we've taken the lead but it's not been all us well we've got to half time and it's not the game we were expecting necessarily I knew it was going to be difficult without um, Aldrichis because he does kind of tie the whole team together a little bit with his size and just finds the passes to those front two but thankfully Lisa Novs has played pretty well we just haven't seen too much creation from the midfield which is a little frustrating it's been a better um, sort of end of the half with a lot more chances so let's see how it's going to go in half two I'm fingers crossed we, we can oops we can get the victory this would be, uh, be such an important one if we can keep this run going but historic if we don't because you'll see the end of it on camera and all its glory they haven't really had too many shots Yauzems who's obviously one of the better players we've got Bru, Krollis looking for the pass aren't they and he's found it and Krollis again his finishing is nowhere near what it was he was offside as well right 58 minutes on the clock we're going to make a couple of changes Misu I think is one of those changes who's coming off we're going to bring on Popovich who's been very effective in the poacher role Vieira's coming off I think we'll bring on Georgescu I think that seems to make sense but yeah I think that's it for now there we go another chance here not the funnest match you've seen but at least it's tight Misu Yauzems now running down the right side into Brew ball into Misu and it's Chiardio and wow brilliant block RFS, RFS dropping into the bottom two again it wasn't on off last season well, a few changes here. Jamal is coming on for Yauzems. 
and Tariq is coming on for Kiadio. We'll maybe swap Tariq and Bro because I probably prefer him to be attacking. Erglis coming on for Krollis. Erglis, I'm more and more trusting to be a key player. Well, 86 minutes on the clock. Could could they pick up something? Bru's got a bit of an injury. Not ideal that he's staying on. Erglis, though, as I say, he's a good player. Gets in the right place at the right time. Here he is again. A bit of space here from Messina. Running into a blind alley. And there we go. It's Tariq. He, he gets the second goal, the important goal. And in the end, after a very, very even start, we have taken now a 2-0 lead, but it has looked pretty one-sided in the second half, in all honesty. As this is where they score now, just to shut me up. They do things like that. Come on, get the challenge in. Oh, it's a beautiful header there. It's Erglis. Is he going to find the ball? He does. I mean, it's the only ball that was on there. And to Brew. Brew's in. And I think that was offside. Yeah, Popovich had run way offside there. Just flicks it past the keeper. But that was never, ever going to be a goal, was it? Oh, it's a lot closer than I thought, I have to say. A lot closer. Oh, well. Well, there we go. We continue our 100% record now. We have run this for easily over a season. They had a good start to the match, but unable to keep it going. And uh, we we did. We really started to put the pressure on at the end. 2-0 victory. Pretty pleased with that, to be honest, because Spartak's are second. And they may well have caused us more trouble than that, considering we'd lost Aldrichis just before the match. So just have a look at it. It says only a short injury there. Vieira's out with the yellow card. So it's it's hard to keep everyone fit. It's a, it's a, I mean, 30 isn't really a small squad, but we haven't got 30 here quite. But it's 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 tough. There's a lot of rotation going on trying to keep keep on top of things, plus the Latvian issue. Anyway, folks, we're going to play along a little bit more probably come back for maybe that game against Lepaya there that seems a good one I think it'll be around there when we start seeing what's going to go on in Europe probably the Baltic Cup of Nations is going to happen there if that's what it's called so it'll be interesting to see how things have gone are we going to keep this 100% record I think it's going to be tough but you look through it's not really any impossible games there uh, until the Pia game. All the t all the really tough ones are at home. Hey, anyway, folks! Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.